Hello, everyone. Welcome to this demonstration of deploying CloudPoint in a Microsoft Azure public marketplace. To start with, I will go to my marketplace and look for CloudPoint. In the results, uh, we'll select the latest version of CloudPoint. Once the cloud software for CloudPoint can be viewed, you can read the description of CloudPoint. Highly recommend going to how it works and that will open up the quick start guide for CloudPoint on Microsoft Azure. Here you can read the details of the software as well as the key features. In addition, this quick start guide is also very handy in terms of specifying the system requirements that are needed to deploy CloudPoint. The operating system is Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. The virtual machine type that we would select is D2S v3 standard. The vCPU's minimum requirement is 2 and RAM being 8 gigs. Also, the root disk has to be a 30 GB solid state drive. The steps 2 and 3 of the installation would not be required for deployment on an Azure marketplace. Post the installation, we will also configure CloudPoint, and that's something that we will see as part of this demo as well. All in all, very handy set of steps if you want a quick overview of how to deploy the solution in the Azure marketplace. So now we'll go back to our uh, solution. We'll say get it now for CloudPoint Cloud Software and go ahead and say continue on the screen. Once we do that, uh, it will pull up our Azure portal. And here you can view the details of what type of license that we are getting with this uh, version of CloudPoint on the Azure Marketplace. Just scroll over this, uh, and then we can also see that there is a data sheet out there at the bottom. So we are going to go ahead and right click that. And the data sheet is also another very handy reference if you want to understand why you would want to use Veritas CloudPoint, as well as the overall architecture of the solution at a high level. What it does in terms of simplification of backups and uh, snapshot management and orchestration, as well as explaining how application consistent backup and recovery uh, can be performed using CloudPoint. Also, we support a large number of uh, CSPs. So in our second release, we have, we have support for AWS, Azure, and Google. It can also be downloaded using the Start Today link at the bottom, where you can actually download a binary and deploy it on any virtual machine or physical infrastructure. Let's go back to our uh, deployment in the Azure Marketplace. We'll say Create on the screen which will basically create a virtual machine. We're going to go ahead and specify a name for the virtual machine, a CP2 or demo. The VM disk type has specified it as a decap the default. We have a username, which we will specify, so CP demo user. Depending on your organization policy, you can say authentication type as SSH or password. I'm simply going ahead with specifying a password here. Go ahead and enter that, and then say confirm the same password. Uh, the subscription I'm using here is a free trial. That's how lightweight CloudPoint is. Uh, we're also going to use a resource group here. Uh, we're going to give it a name, which will help in management of multiple resources in the Azure environment. So in terms of virtual machine size, the minimum vCPUs would be two for CloudPoint deployment. And also the minimum memory is about seven to eight GB. So let's go with eight. Depending on your region uh, of your Azure subscription, you, you can select the type uh, or the size rather of the virtual machine. So I'm going with D2S V3 standard. Keeps the cost relatively low as you can see. And then say select on that one. Once you do that, you can go ahead with uh, most of the default settings for the settings panel that has pulled up here. So storage, uh, make sure you use manage disks. Uh, you can go ahead with the defaults for the network, subnet, public IP address as well as network security group firewall. So just going and opening some of the details for the virtual network, you can take a look at what is the name that's specified for this in the default. So also the next thing we'll see is a subnet. So the subnet name is default. Uh, I have not changed any of these settings and then we can go ahead and look at the public IP addresses here. So make sure that dynamic is selected for the IP address. And last but not the least, the network security group firewall setting. Again, uh, going with the default, which is 
keeping some of the inbound rules uh, which CloudPoint requires for communication over HTTPS uh, as well as SSH and TCP ports. Make sure that uh, auto shutdown is set to off and the rest of the, the settings are again set to the default settings and there is a diagnostic storage uh, account that we have here in our in our account for Azure. So uh, the final validation tests would run at this stage. Uh, validation should typically pass and you can actually look at the summary of our settings that we specified for this particular virtual machine. So let's just scroll down and take a look at what our settings look like. Just make sure that some of those settings that we saw in the quick start guide uh, are in compliance and just make sure that the disk type is SSD and it's managed as well. So go ahead and hit create there. And uh, now Azure is basically going ahead and deploying this Veritas CloudPoint instance for us. The process should typically take anywhere between two to five minutes. Uh, and then once that's completed, you can hit go to resource. So we can see that we have the CP2 or demo instance spun up here. At this stage, we highly recommend that you take a look at the, the settings and everything turns out fine. Go ahead and change the DNS name in order to access the machine via a DNS name label. And also make sure that the idle timeout is specified to about as, as high as you can. And then uh, gone ahead and specify the DNS name label for this particular instance. Also, um, once the this is saved, uh, just you can use the public IP address uh, of this particular instance, and we will do that shortly. So the IP address settings have been saved. Go ahead and click and copy that public IP and put it in your browser. And as you can see, the CloudPoint configuration screen has come up, the initial configuration. So if I a username, a password, once that's done, the host information, you do not have to change. CloudPoint does the discovery for you. Uh, agree to the terms of the EULA, and if you would like to send telemetry data, also check the uh, upper box. Once that's done, hit configure. The configuration process could take about bit anywhere between one to five minutes depending on your machine settings. So in our case, it's pretty snappy as you see here. And so once this is going to be complete, you should typically see a, uh, a screen which will tell us that some of the services would need to be restarted. So we shall see that any moment soon. So CloudPoint is deploying all its services on this particular instance to manage multiple cloud service providers. So, so we can see that it's going to basically restart some of the services which are going to be running on this machine to complete the CloudPoint uh, deployment. So that's proceeding pretty soon. And then it should typically tell us to refresh the browser. Go ahead and hit refresh. And now we are on to the main login screen for CloudPoint. So I'm going to enter the same credentials, which I entered while doing an initial setup, and we can hit sign in. And there we go. So we are at the main coffee screen, as we call it, for CloudPoint tool. This is a single pane of glass view, making sure the account is CP admin. A uh, single pane of glass view of your entire infrastructure managed across multiple areas in cloud providers. Uh, we can hit the dashboard, and right now there's nothing much uh, that we see here because we don't have any cloud or area managed by this cloud point deployment. So in order to add a Azure subscription, we can go ahead and right here you see the list of areas that we support as well as cloud service providers. We are constantly expanding this list, uh, but for the sake of this demo, we are just looking at, let's say, Microsoft Azure. If you want to add an Azure configuration, go ahead and hit add configuration, getting done via the tenant ID, client ID, and secret key. So we're not going to do that right now. So thank you for watching the demo. And you can find out more information on Sales Central as well as Veritas CloudPoint on Walks.